Yeah, this is the old town. This was a really hard mission to get in here. Because you have to get in with a taxi. It's tough. Yes, you used to use motorcycles to do suicide bombs. She has a little glass on her. <laughs> I gotta go and remove that one. Why does she have a glass? She has a glass. Someone forgot their glass. Alright. We put it here. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go to the store and get some things. It's a bit windy today as well. Perfect. We need a sweet wind. I'm just gonna go for a stroll. I've just been sitting inside of the hotel for since the morning at seven o'clock, working on some videos. So I thought, why not go for a nice walk? It's very common that you push your woman on a little vehicle here. I've seen so many women sitting like this. That's pretty nice. I could do that as well. I should get a ride, maybe. <laughs> True, I'm gonna go into the holy site, so I have to go through the security again. So we'll check me here. And I'm good to go. The woman who was um, checking me, basically, she she thought I was Iranian. Oh, you're Iranian? I said, no, I'm from Sweden. She was in shock, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, here on the street again, holy shrine, Imam Hussein, right in front of me. I will see if I can find something to maybe eat. Let's see. And in the background, here we have it. The Imam Shrine. I'm leaving Karbala. And I'm going to Najaf, but it's not so far, it's like one hour away. And I felt like I need a little solitude. So I saw a road that goes out to the desert. So I will try to go there and see if my love and just drive a little bit because I got a really big craving to just get out of the city and enjoy a solitude place. I will try it and I see. So let the adventure continue. Okay, man. Thank you. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. Wow, those people in there, they just fed me so much these days. And I try to pay and pay and pay and pay, but they don't accept any money. Nothing at all. So. I was like, come on man, I need to pay something for all this food. Nope, doesn't exist. Before we leave this holy city, we're gonna go and fuel her up, my baby baby girl. I'm not sure if you need uh, the jerry cans here to fill her up, I will see. Hopefully not. The thing is, when you come um, to Baghdad, you need jerry cans to refill your bike. You're not allowed to go in with your motorcycle because there's been some explosions and uh, things are happening apparently there. So, yeah, they, they abandoned it. They abandoned motorcycle in there. 
So we'll see what they say. Because motorcycles in Iraq has been a little bit like, it's been tricky with them because yes, used to use motorcycles to do suicide bombs, do suicide bombings in the fuel stations and checkpoints. So people don't really trust motorcycles anymore here. I'm not really sure if I am allowed to do the fueling. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Is it benzene? Yes, this one. Catalog. How much is it? Uh, six. Now I'm just heading out somewhere in the solitude, straight into the desert. Sometimes I just need to go somewhere and it doesn't have to be the destination over there, just the, the trip to go, sit on a motorcycle, feel the motorcycle out in the wild, the wild deserts, just me, motorcycle, perhaps some music, and yeah, I like that a lot to not always have a destination over there I don't even know I think it's a fortress over there but I don't know if I can reach it and if I don't reach it that's it I will see a lot of ancient cities and buildings over here on the way down to Kuwait <sighs> what a day I've been fed in that hotel. I'm still in shock how, how much they fed me. God. What? The people over there are just... Incredible. What people are doing here, because this is a two lane. Then they have a two lane there. We see this car, it's coming here on the opposite road. <laughs> and I was... Um, doing an overtake from a truck and suddenly I see a car coming towards me it's like whoa uh, I think the road on the other side is a little bit shitty compared to this side so people are sneaking over here <laughs> yeah oh I think they have a checkpoint here I was not allowed to go there to the fortress they said it was danger and with a motorcycle I'm not allowed to go there. Completely understand. I'm happy to just be riding out in this little desert road. <laughs> but I, I read that the fortress is pretty amazing. Another time in my life. I have other fortresses to visit on the way down south. There we have a car cemetery and behind the car cemetery it is some kind of industry. I can't tell what it is. But there are a lot of industries on this road. I'm far out in the desert. I mean, it's not oil, it's something else. Can I go in here? I don't know, let me try it. You see, it's an industry out there in the wild. Yeah, I'm not going to that industry, I'm just going a little bit off the road because I need to drink water. Mother Nature. L lot of rubbish everywhere. Right, so I'm in Najaf right now the beginning of Nadia so here I will go and stay with a family I got in touch with when I was in um, Duhok it was a girl who gave me this contact to stay with them so they're waiting me for dinner now and I got stopped in a checkpoint for a long time over there I don't know they just wanted to take pictures and get a lot of information from me so it took a while, so I'm like rushing a little bit to their dinner. I don't want to make them wait for long. 
But anyway, I have like 10 minutes left, so... I do my best. So, I believe I see you tomorrow. Good morning, all my beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. It's another day here in Nagia. I just woke up and my dear darling. Sarek is there. So today, in the afternoon, I'm going to an English school uh, for a place where they teach English and meet the students there and speak a little English with them. And I'm staying here with Sadika and her family. I'm living in this house, so I brought her with me to maybe she can join the class and practice her English a little bit. So she will join and see how it is it's gonna be super cool i'm very excited to meet the students and speak a little bit of english wow that was so cool to talk to all the students they're so amazing this is the classroom <laughs> hi everyone my name is mara I am an English trainer. I teach at Cambridge Institute for Languages. I, te I teach ESL, English as a second language. I'm also a coordinator. I coordinate uh, dialogue with American students. I work uh, with uh, Penn State University as a coordinator. I have taught English for more than seven years and I'm a I am a big fan of Christina and <laughs> finally met her. <laughs> I followed all of her videos and all of her posts on Instagram. I'm so excited that she's here. Yeah, I'm excited to meet you here, girl. It's so cool, amazing. <laughs> and do you're you amazing. have classes every day, or how do you do? I do. I do have classes. Uh, I work for more than like uh, six hours a day. Okay, okay. I also teach online. I have online classes wow, and uh, so dialogues cool. with Penn State. So busy all the time. Are you born here in Nada? I was born here in Nada. Born here. That's yeah. great. Fantastic. It's lovely to meet you. Lovely to Thank have you, you so here. Much. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> you're so nice. Aww. I have different clothes this time. I got to borrow some clothes from this family, but this is the Alhamar tribe. And they have a tomb back here. People are going there and kissing and praying and giving donations. It's very, very pretty. I'm heading out to explore a little bit of Najaf to see what's happening around this place. I will go to the old city and then I will go to the holy shrine. They have one big beautiful one here so I will check it out. And just ride around a little bit. I'm staying with this super cute family. They're so, so, so kind. And uh, I've been staying there for two nights now. So the plan is to stay there for one more night. And then I go to Babylon. So today is a bit rainy. Never thought I would see the rain here, but it rains and it's really nice. Oh, I like the rain here. It gets pretty dusty, so the rain is perfect. 
I had the same issue to get into the, the holy city, the old time as in Karbala here in Najaf. They, they stopped me and said, no, 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 no. Uh, only for people living here in the city can go in the holy town. But I said that they want to go in. <laughs> I will go with my bike. And they make some calls and said, no, 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 you can't. And I said, please, please, please. And uh, yeah, they called at you there. And he said, yes, but you have to park it in a garage, 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 okay? So I will try to see if I can find a garage here. I will follow these cars and see what I can find. Where can I find a garage in this town? I don't know. I don't know where to find it. I perhaps can stop and ask someone on the way. Where can I find a garage? Oof, they're coming everywhere, the cars. I think it's only one way, this street. Yep. It says that I can go to the right, but I don't see any cars go to the right, so... What's going on here? I don't think Mapspy is updated for this town. So let's go right here, but that's pretty hard, you can't get in there. Maybe here? <laughs> oh. All the happy people. And he's carrying the women. Oh. Yeah, 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 Garage, where are you? I still can't find a garage. I am following this white car because I think they're aiming for the same mission as me to find a parking. So I thought I joined them. Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's going to the right. I think I will go to the right as well. Maybe we can ask here. Salam alaikum. Parking? Garage? Mm hmm. Overnight? No. Two hours. Two hours. The guards told me to park my motorcycle in a garage while I visit the old town. It's okay? Shukran, shukran. A <laughs> sweet Iraq, Pakistan, India, Nepal. <laughs> yes, yes, me. <laughs> I am dressed and I found a parking, a garage. So she's safe there, I have my helmet there, all good. I is gonna walk for maybe a kilometer, then I come to the shrine and have a look there. So they're really kind of the parking guys to help me out. I don't know what's going on with me, but my map showed me that I was much closer to the to the old town, but it's 40 minutes walking. So I have to get my bike and go closer. This is impossible. It's not impossible, but it's too far and I don't have time. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm so tired. This was a really hard mission to get in here because you have to get in with a taxi. With a vehicle, it's it's tough. I mean, I got in on the other side, but now I have to go through another one because I got lost and I went outside the area, and I can't get in again. So, I'm taking a walk, a kilometer walk up to the shrine. I could leave my bike, Sadek, next to the checkpoint. So that was kind. They're really kind guys. That was much more organized than the shrines in, uh, in Karbala because they had fences to follow so you didn't get pushed and there were lines, very structured everything so I enjoyed that one but you're not allowed to film much in there so 
I didn't feel that much. The rain has arrived here, so it's pretty cool and nice. And I removed my hijab and everything, so I can breathe again. But yeah, as I said, the train is so much more like convenient for me. I don't get that claustrophobic like in Karbala. In uh, in those shrines, you have to push, and people were pushing, and there was no structure. In the shrine, but here they have lines, so you didn't get pushed. You could breathe, you could enjoy, take your time. I really like that. Very good one. Oof. I'm back in the house with the family, and uh, we had a really lovely dinner. Some chai, of course. So yeah, time to head to bed. It's getting late, and uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and join my Patreon family as well. It's more behind the scenes and exclusive material there. Take care and I'll see you soon.